Good morning, fellow YouTubers. When I came back from fishing yesterday, I found this waiting for me at the front door. We all know what a rod tube looks like, don't we? Good morning, YouTubers. This is Scuba Chris here. Uh, yesterday, I was out fishing. I was uh, giving out my new jigging reel I'll try off a of pier. Yeah, off a of pier. I just wanted to get the feel of it. But I got a, a little uh, email sent in through my phone that said, hey, there's a package waiting for you at home. Now, what I found was something unusual on eBay. I found a ultra light rod, a five foot six rod. Now, that in itself is not that unusual, but what was unusual, it was an Akuma Ultra Light. And to make it more unusual, it was something that hasn't been sold for a while. It was a SST, not a C Lila, which is the majority of the Ultra Lights out there by Okuma. It was an SST. Now, if you look, there, there's a lot of SSTs out there that are Ultra Lights, but they start from six foot and up. And those are basically, uh, you know, salmon, steelhead, trout, and they're specifically arranged for trout. And the reason why they've been arranged for trout, instead of being a silila where it's a very, not weak, but a very, um, how do I say, flaccid type of rod with, with a nice bend throughout the rod, the SSTs have to be a little bit stiffer because it's going to set, it's going to detect the slightest nibble. When you're going out for trout, you want to feel that nibble going from the lure or bait to the line into your rod itself. Now that's what makes this special. It, it was built to um, make it very, very sensitive. So I'm willing to gather that um, the touch on this one's gonna be quite unique. And that's why I got it. You know what was unusual about that radio? It, it said it, it was uh, six guides. There's no such thing as uh, um, rod with six guides but um what i read was kind of like an old-fashioned style where he said oh it, it's uh six six guides including the tip top tip top meaning the tip on the top now we all know that it's maybe back then that's the way it was but when you uh that should be five plus one right five guides actual guides on the rod plus a tip not a tip top and this guy that i got this rod from came out of stockton california I'm gonna have him give him good marks for how he packed it. That was the best packing I've ever seen. Look at this. Even when it's rolled in 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 the foam wrap, the this one section is separated from the other. Whoo, that that was great. Uh great wrapping. That's probably possibly one of the best ones I've ever received in terms of wrapping. So here we go. It's a two-piecer. It says, uh, it's new. I know what a new one and a used one looks like. That is definitely new. Look look at the uh, cork in that. The cork has not have any handprints and you can tell the handprints um, very well because the cork absorbs everything, including um, oil from your hands. And this one here doesn't have anything that will show that. Very nice. You got a hook keeper. First thing, you make sure all the guides are in place and the, and the guides have the inserts. I mean, even though it, it says brand new in box, sometimes some people don't are not honest. I'm not saying this person's not, I'm pretty sure he is. So I wanna make sure that all the guides are, look at that, they're all set the right way. They're not bent, because it could happen in the shipping and that each one has the inserts in it and it all looks like it has all right now what does it say here this is a okuma sst which it is very unusual for five foot six sst dash s so sst is the brand dash s means it's for spinning 562 ul so ul is ultralight 562 means it's a five foot six Two means is in two pieces. Line rating, aha. Line rating uh, 1 16th through uh, 3 eighths. I mean, th that's the, the, the weight, the lure rating, uh, 1 16th to 
three eighths. That kind of tells me a lot right there um, in terms of um, what this thing can handle. And just saying uh, line recommendation now is two to six. That tells me a lot too. It tells me that this is a little stiffer than your average five foot six ultra light rod. Because most of the ultra lights out there nowadays from Celilos down the line, especially all the ones coming out of China now, uh, they have lower ratings, weight ratings. And the reason why this one is a little bit higher is because it has to be higher to be sensitive. The, the, the rod stock itself has to be sensitive. So I was right about that. This has a very good feel. All the guides are lined up correctly. It's typical of a ultralight rod, but not wimpy. I mean, I've handled five foot six before. This is not a wimpy rod. This is actually not bad. I'm looking at the bend point. The bending point is right here. So let me pull this apart. See, right here. That's It bends from here all the way to the tip. Now, normally that's just about right. It should be roughly there or it should be about here, but never where it's reinforced. So I'm gonna give this guy a big thumbs up on eBay. He sent me a very good product. Uh, shipping to Hawaii was roughly $10, which is also not bad. So I, I didn't pay too much for it. The rod was roughly $30 with the $10 shipping. So this guy here, it's going to get a big thumbs up for me on his uh on his ebay report i can tell this has never been used there's no scratches nothing cosmetically wrong with it i like the fact that there's a stainless steel wire for my hook it's light it hasn't been used before i can tell by looking at it so the other thing i'm going to have to look at is uh the line i'm either going to go with four pound mono or possibly Maybe five pound braid. That's something that most people haven't tried yet, but I was thinking about five pound braid as well. Um, and I'm also gonna coat uh, the cork. Now you got a lot of choices for coating the cork. Uh, U40 is one of the more popular choices. I like to use fingernail polish with hardener in it. And I've been doing that for a long, long time. And it's worked very well for me. So the feel is good. I like what I see. I like what I feel. So, um, like I said, you can still get the SST ultra lights, but they're gonna start from six feet. This is five and a half. Now, if you're going to the uh, rivers like I do, I'm in Hawaii, but we, we have mangroves and other type of overhangs. The five foot is a little bit better, um, but I, you know, I'm not as young as I used to be. I don't like um, skipping across gigantic slippery boulders by myself. Um, so. You know, the five foot would be better for that, but I I kind of like the five foot six, but I'll probably end up getting a uh, five foot, most likely uh, a C Lilo. And then, um, you know, there's a lot of six sixes out there, but that's getting a little bit too long. Uh, when I used to go ultra lighting before, the six six was generally a longer rod. And if you're gonna go like that, I would suggest just going with a seven footer that's light application rather than medium light. So, uh, well, this, uh, I'm going to coat this up and see what it looks like. So on this, like I said, I'm going to use some um, uh, nail polish. This has hardener in it. This is the good stuff. So I'm going to coat this. And that way, um, it's not going to be absorbing any of my um, body juices, whatever you want to call it. But it's it's not going to discolor it. It's, it's actually going to make the cork last a long time. Because after a while, it will start chipping, especially when water finally starts slowly seeping to it. And this will retard that. Check that out. It is finished. So. Look at that. The cork is done. So now, not only does it look good, but it's going to be protected against the elements, which means, you got to remember, cork is basically bark from a tree. It will eventually wear down. Okay, It will wear down. So what we did was give a nice protective seal from the elements, and it, it's going to help the cork 
lasts longer. And the reason why they chose cork uh, for a lot of this, besides the fact that it is a, uh, a cheaper source of uh, material as compared to some of the other materials out there. Okay, it's, it's way lighter than wood. That's the main thing. And it's just cheap, okay. But um, some of the best cork handles like on fly fishing rods and other rods that are out there is very popular. Now, in terms of Ochlai where you want to go light, this actually is a benefit. So there you go. Thank you, guys.